Hiya folks, if you watched my previous video on the colouring and repair of this leather seat from a BMW uh, you see it was in quite a state. I'm a novice, I haven't done this before, this is my first time attempt but I'm bringing you along for the journey just to see if it can help you if you've got a uh, few doubts over doing a repair yourself. But we coloured it, I ordered the uh, colour online, it wasn't the right colour but it looked right online and I didn't have the code for the uh, paint and as you know we painted it and it ended out like this and it's totally the wrong colour. So I've done no more, we've had a little look around the internet, we found the exact colour for this seat and this one comes from the Leather Colour Doctor and it is an all-in-one leather die and sealer as well. This colour, I would have had to apply the sealer on top of that but um, this one comes with the sealer already included. And it's sand beige for this seat so we're going to be spraying this with this uh, new colour. And just to let you what I've done since I last painted it, I haven't touched it at all. All I've done is I've sanded it down again, just gone over lightly with a 500 grit sand pad and blown it all down and wiped it all down. So we're now ready to apply the colour for the second time and hoping that this colour now will take on top of that. So let's get it in the gun and let's uh, get this painted. Right, so this is the spray gun I'm going to be using. You can dab it on with a sponge, which we did try in the previous video. It didn't turn out very well. As soon as I used the spray gun, the coverage was fantastic. So that's why we're opting for the spray gun again. This is a small Devilbis SRI Pro. It's a spot repair gun, basically, what spot repairers use when they're touching up cars. And um, I've got a one mil tip in there. We'll be spraying at two bar, which is roughly about 28 PSI. And all we're gonna do is literally Pour our paint in there, or a leather dye you could say, this is a leather dye, so just give it a good shake up, and uh, let's put it in there, there we go, and it's quite thin, it should be ready to paint with, so I'm just going to pour a quantity in there, I'll probably have to give this a couple of coats I would have thought, so um, I've got enough to do this, not only this seat, the back seat and also the other front seat as well, so you'll be seeing me colour this one first, and uh, we'll have a look at the other seats afterwards, so let's get going. And I've also got my little dust mask there, or face mask. There we go. I'll just check my gun output. Seems to be okay. And off we go, folks. All right. Again, only a light coat first of all, folks, just to get the uh, coverage on there. Again, not thick coat, folks, just a nice, nice thin coat. So far, folks, this colour's taking really well. So I'm going to go in the creases first. Do the hard to get pieces first of all, yeah? Like that. Look how much I used. That's great. That's not that's gone on really well. Right, I'm gonna leave that for about 10 minutes, folks. And I hope you can see already that's just one coat there. How that colour's taken on there with just one coat. Look at that. And compare it to the trim. There we go. That's the original trim that's going on the seat, folks, which is the sand gold trim. And there we go, look at that. Look. That's not bad at all. This trim was a little bit darker, if I remember rightly, but uh, wow, that looks brilliant. And if you can see, I know you can still see a little bit of the repair there, but um, as I say, compared to what it was, this is fantastic. So I'll let that go off, give it another coat afterwards, and as I said to you, that should hopefully be it. And then we'll dig the other stuff out and give that a clean down and coat that up as well. So I'll see you in a minute. My friends say, girl, you better take care. 
Right, that's two coats now, folks, and that's definitely going to be enough. That looks absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to leave that there. But what I have got is also the uh, headrest as well to do. Now, all I've done, there's nothing really wrong with this, apart from the colour's slightly different now, and it looks a bit old and worn. So all I'm going to do here, I've just given it a sand down with some 500 grit sand, or wet and dry paper, just dry, just to give it a slight key. I've done that all the way around, and all I'm going to do now is just get some isopropyl alcohol. You can use degrease or whatever you want to use, but um, I've got this available, so I'll be using this. I'll just give it a wipe over, just to take off any of the contaminants, and literally, just literally wipe off all the uh, contaminants that are on it and the remaining dust or whatever. You can see what's come off of that, look. This just ensures that you've got a nice surface for the um, new paint or leather treatment to stick to. Now underneath here is plastic and it will actually take to that as well. So I've actually done that on the top of the seat as well. I just sprayed over the plastic panel that was on there as well. So there we go. That's all we need to do with that. So that's now clean, chemically clean you could say. And I've also taped up the uh, metal rods there, as you can see. And literally, just spray this. I'll do the tricky bits first, which are the underneath bits. Oh, can I let you go? Cause I love you, cause I love you. Yeah, there was a time I didn't have romance. But after I met you, I thought it was my chance. But nobody tells me good things about you, baby. I'm going to... There we go. And that'll do it with the first coat. I'll do exactly the same with the second coat, then that will match that. Happy days. Right, that's drying off lovely in the sun now, and I've pulled the uh, base of the rear seat out now. Let's have a look at the state of that. Remembering that this seat was in similar condition to this. Let's have a look at it. So that's what we've got there, folks. That's the uh, looking finish we've got. And coming over here, this is the uh, base of that seat, which this other one was very, very similar. You can see all the mold on it, and. It's just totally grubby, and it does look like it's been coloured before. That's the original colour there, I would say, under the bolster, the middle bolster. And that there is the colour someone's applied to it. So this is more like that original colour now, which we've coloured the seat perfectly. So when they've done this before, they've actually done it the wrong colour as what I did, first of all. So we've got to clean these down now. Lucky enough, there's no damage to these. So it's literally just a, a wash down, first of all. And... Uh, what I've got to do that, as with the other seats, is some G101, which I've got here just diluted in a bottle with 50% uh, water. I've got some microfiber rags there, and I've also got two little stiff brushes that go in the uh, battery drill if I need to agitate some stubborn areas. So without further ado, let's make a start on these, clean them down and uh, see what we're left with, and then we'll prepare them for spraying. Right, there we go folks, that's the G101 and the brush sorted. That actually lifts off some of the old colour which has uh, been painted on here as well. That's good stuff, that G101. But um, all I've got to do now is just go over everything with some 500 grit. Just literally go all over like that. Just to give the surface a key. And like the other seat, all I'll do then is give it a wash down with some isopropyl alcohol. And then we're ready for paint. So lucky enough there's no repairs needed on this. So I'll see you after I've done this. Just give it a little blow off. And then get our isopropyl alcohol, or any alcohol really. Or any degreaser, panel degreaser. And literally, just wipe it all off. Get all that residue off of there. 
I'm sure if there was any um, bits of mould left on there, this out the hole would kill it all off anyway. So make sure you get in your creases. As you can see there, folks, a lot of crap still on there. And literally, make sure you get all in them creases. Put down in them bits that you can't see. And just wipe it all down. That's now ready for paint. All right, folks. Here we go. Right folks, already that's looking a lot better than what it did before, believe me. And it matches the front seat, which is the main thing. So uh, it looks a bit patchy at the moment. It's only had one coat, it's got to dry off. That'll sink in. This is lovely water-based paint, so it dries off really, really quick as well. So um, we'll leave that to dry off. I'll give it a second coat and then we'll uh, call it a day on that one. Right folks, that's it. They've both had a couple of coats each now. They're now dry, I'll finish them and I'll put the plastics back on. And you can see by the plastics that the uh, colour is a lot more matched to what it was. So as you can see the plastics are now back on the seats there and the colour match is virtually nigh on perfect basically so uh, I'm well pleased with that. There you go all the way around. Happy days and the base of the seat again is looking perfect compared to what it was and you can see the difference in colour now that this one was where someone had chosen the wrong colour just like me so all I've got to do is finish this one off now as you can see, this one's in a bit of a state as well with all them stains on it and the mould along there. And looking over there, they look absolutely perfect compared to what they was. And if you remember, the, the damage that was on this seat, OK, I've not totally repaired it correctly because I'm no expert, but all this was down to bare leather. And uh, at least it's got some sort of protection finish on it now. And you can't... Oh, well, I'm well happy with that. And I think Jimmy will be as well. Don't forget, folks, I'm no expert. I'm just a do-it-yourself at the end of the day. And all I've done was apply... Uh, a liquid that you can buy over the counter, match the colour up and you're prepared the way I've done that with a G101 and some 500 grit and also wiping it down afterwards with some alcohol, cleaning it with a little scrubbing brushes to clean all the leather off so it gets all that mould and all the extra stuff off with a G101 and for my first attempt I'm well pleased with that. Anyway thanks very much folks, hope you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out my other videos and other playlists and uh, we'll see you in the next video and until then, bye for now.